What's going on guys? This week we'll be reviewing the Dolphin Rider box in Animation Throwdown. First up is the legendary pre-combo, Down to the Bone. This is one of the better pre-combos out of all the ones we've seen so far for Animal in my opinion. It has a pretty average stats for attack and HP, which neither one being absolutely terrible. Skill-wise, I'm loving its 14 punch and its 15 leech. It's the perfect combination of dishing out damage and being self-sufficient for healing. Its 12 boost is also a nice touch to help make this card even stronger as you make combos, which you should be able to do no problem between its leeching and the BGE heal for the animal. This card is also a fantastic card for Futurama Siege. While all of these things combined make it so that you can still use this card once the animal BGE is over, I do want to mention that there are still other better pre-combos out there that I would probably run before this one in a non-animal BGE deck. Next up on the agenda is the items. First up is the new animal item card, Sacrificial Robot Goat. This card is actually a pretty good balance between offense and defense. Its 16 attack is pretty straightforward and good for attack. While its 39 HP would normally be too low for a defense deck, it does have 9 sturdy to add onto that to make it a viable option defensively as well. It has 9 boost which can make it stronger should you or the AI choose not to combo it right away and combo other cards instead. And best of all, it can act as a mini utility healer with 3 heal all that will go to all of your cards no matter their show or trait. This next item we already covered in last week's review, but to recap, Knife Wielding Seal is one of the best defense items for Animal. It has an amazing 59 HP, which makes it a pretty reliable card that most likely will not be taken out in one hit. On top of that, it has 10 punch to really dish out some extra damage. Its starting attack of 7 is subpar though, so don't expect it to be dealing too much damage through its attacks. At least at first. It does have 5 crazed, so that it will increase its attack slowly but surely over time. One thing to keep in mind is that because of this card's crazy high HP, any combos that the AI makes with it will also be extra tanky as well. And the final item in the box, we've already covered in a previous box review as well, but again to recap, Bandit is the best offense item for Animal. It has a stellar 19 attack base and it has 11 jab to help it break through any walls or shields as well as 7 bomb dish out some flank damage as well. It also has 12 leech to help keep its health up which is good considering how um, pretty low its HP is at 36. This is a card that I would recommend not running in a defense deck as it can easily be taken out in one hit by a good deck. And that's it for items. For a detailed look at all of the combos that you can make with these items, check out my complete guide to the Animal BGE video. The link will be down in the description. Now let's take a look at the characters in the box. First up is Peter, who as you can see here, thinks he's going to be the best frickin' card in the whole frickin' game. And honestly, that's not too far off. I don't know if I'd call Peter the best card, but he's definitely up there. His attack is pretty average for a character, but he has some pretty solid HP at 45, and on top of that, he has 8 sturdy to add further to it to um, make his tankiness even better. He also has 7 bomb, which can be really annoying to deal with for your opponents. He does have 4 cheer all to family guy cards as well, but you're not going to see much use for that outside of Siege. Another fantastic thing about Peter is that he's one of those lucky few characters with a built-in inherent trait. Peter is a drunk card, so during the drunk BGE, he does get buffed by the effects. And coincidentally, for those who haven't already heard, drunk is confirmed to be the next BGE coming up in a few weeks. And the other character in the box is Bill. Many of my longtime viewers are probably sick of hearing about this card with how many times we've covered it over the last couple months, but once again to recap for any new viewers, if you don't already have him, Bill is pretty dope. He's got one of the highest attack stats base for a character and makes some pretty awesome combos for a few BGEs, one of them being Animal. He also has some nice combos for Drunk, which is the BGE coming up. You won't see too much use of his 10 shield outside of Siege though as it does only go to King of the Hill cards, but the 7 bomb is a nice little support for flank cards and the 5 crazed is a nice little touch to buff this card up a little each turn if you choose not to combo immediately. Be warned though, 37 HP is a little on the low side, so you don't want to wait too long to combo him. And that's it for the characters. Now let's take a look at the epic pre-combos. First up is Dolphin Rider Peter, 
which you might notice is what this box is named after. As far as epic pre-combos go, I can see this one may be finding use at the free-to-play level. Its attack is pretty lackluster at 13, and its HP isn't anything special either. It does have some nice support skills though. It shields all fellow animal cards by 3, and cheers all friendly cards by 3. The cheer all, unlike the shield, does go to all your cards regardless of show or trait. It also has a little bit of leech there to help keep it alive a bit longer as well. And a quick note, you can make this combo with two of the items in this box and Peter. The combo version is significantly better. And the other epic pre-combo in the box is Teddy's Pigeon. This card right here is a fantastic epic pre-combo. It's usable for defense at even the top level of play. It has a solid 50 HP and on top of that, 10 sturdy and 10 recover. It is very unlikely to be taken out in one hit, and if the AI does combo, it gains 10 more HP. It also has 4 cripple all to further reduce incoming damage. This card has practically the perfect tank setup when it comes to skills. If they do ever release a mythic teddy card, I can only imagine how devastating the combo version of this would be in a defense deck. Alright, so my final thoughts on this box. The legendary pre-combo, while not the greatest I've ever seen, is probably one of the best ones for Animal and does have some potential use outside of the BGE in a limited capacity. I'm thrilled that all three items are Animal items, and on top of that, they're a perfect balance of items between offense and defense. As for characters, both are solid characters worth having multiple copies of, especially with Drunk BGE coming up. While one of the epic pre-combos is just alright with some limited use to free-to-play players, the other is rock solid and it can even be um, good for pay-to-win players to use to some success. And one more fantastic thing about this box is the freaking image they used for it. I mean look at that. It's Peter in all of his naked glory riding a dolphin off into the sunset. That's f***ing brilliant. I thought long and hard on what to rate this box overall. At first I was thinking maybe 4 out of 5 turds, but despite its shortcomings, and with how well synergized the items are, the usefulness of both characters, and that one epic pre-combo, not to mention its amazing box image, I think I just have to do it. I have to give this box my very first 5 out of 5 golden turds rating. And to mark the occasion, let's do some polls. For those who are newer to the game, or who might not already know, as you can see here, we have two options. There's buy for 450 gems or special deal. The buy option is a single pull. So for 450 gems, you would get one random card out of all the cards in this box. There's a total of 96 cards per box with eight copies of each card. Once you pull a card, that copy of it is removed from the pool. If you happen to pull all eight copies of a card, then you can no longer pull that card again until you pull every other card in the box. Your other option is the special deal button here. This is the one we're going to want to be looking at. The way this works is that for 800 gems, you get three random pulls from the box. This is obviously better than a single pull, as two single pulls would cost you 900 gems. Let's see if we can get anything good from this special deal. Alright, not too bad. We got a good epic pre-combo and a legendary item, which, if I'm being honest, is what I really want most from this box, the items. We also got an epic drunk item. If you're mostly free to play and still need drunk items, Brian's Martini isn't a bad card to hold onto as it does combo with a lot of the characters for some pretty good combos. But if you're at the point where most of your deck is legendaries or higher, like I am, just burn it for the watts. You also might have noticed we got some legendary stones from the pulls there. Each pull has a chance to drop legendary or even mythic stones. Now that we've done the special deal, let's click it again here. You'll notice it's now changed. It now cost 3500 gems to do it. However, this second special deal is the good deal. It gives you 10 pulls and guarantees that at least two of them will be legendaries. The first special deal pulls could only be epics and often are only epics. This is a really good deal, as to do the same 10 pulls with single pulls would cost you a thousand gems more, and there would be no guarantee on legendaries for single pulls. So let's go ahead and do this deal.
All right, so already looking great. Only two epics, which means the rest are gonna be legendaries. So eight out of 10 were legendary, and if we count the first special, that's nine out of 13 legends total. That's some amazing luck right there. So it looks like I only got one of the legendary pre-combos, but I did get a bunch of items, which I really wanted, and I did get three bills, which I'm super happy about since I didn't have any bills before this. Now that we finished the second special deal, you'll notice that the option for special deal is gone. That's it. You can only get two special deals per box. If you want any more cards from a box, it's going to cost you 450 gems a pop, with no guarantees on what you pull. You're at the complete mercy of RNG at this point. If you happen to keep pulling till you pull every card from the box, the box does reset and you can continue to pull, but the special deals do not reset. So the next time around will all be single pulls. My advice to any free to play and light spenders is to save your gems up to at least 4300 gems before you decide to pull a box. That's how much it will cost you to do both special deals. If you are only doing the first special deal for 800 gems each time, you're cheating yourself as it's the second one that guarantees you legendaries. Anyways, I'm pretty much out of gems myself now at this point, so this is where we're going to stop on this box for now. Thanks so much for watching guys. If you enjoyed the video and found it helpful, please click that like button, and if you're new or haven't already, be sure to subscribe. Also, follow my Facebook if you haven't already. I post a lot of extra stuff on there that you won't see on my channel here. Thanks again for watching guys. Peace.